This is Anderson Pence Podcast, episode 399 for Wednesday, July 7th, 2021. This is Brian. This is Lisa. Good morning. And the birds. And the birds. Yeah. Um, hopefully there will be no fire trucks today. That'd be fun, though. I know, right? Well, we had a dump truck out front. Yeah. Garbage truck. <laughs> but anyway, we are here at the, uh, In the, the backyard. backyard. So, uh, what is, uh, what's oh, the difference between a poorly dressed man on a tricycle and a well-dressed man on a bicycle. One wheel? A tire. The very first thing on our list to talk about. We don't really have. We don't have here because shockingly we got them in, they came in, we sold a couple and we've got one on hold. So uh, Namiki Emperor in Vermilion. Oh my God, what a gorgeous color. And and I, I love this pen, I really love this pen. You know why I love this pen? Because you I, don't have one. Well, I don't have one, and I don't want one. Whoa, uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Say that again. I have no interest yes. in an Amiki Emperor. What do you want? <laughs> we'll get to that later. <laughs> but, um, and the reason being is it's it's an eyedropper-only pen. Oh, that's uh, right. I, I just don't do eyedropper, um, and that's a lot of ink. Oh, thank but God. this pen is beautiful. That vermilion is amazing. And, and, and we had one in a couple weeks ago, and it sold in a couple days. Yep. Uh, we got two more. Yes. And one was one was for a local gentleman. Yes. Uh, and another one uh, was a replacement for the one we sold a couple weeks ago. A fine medium nib. They come in fine medium, medium, and broad only. Correct. No fine. Uh, and uh, it sold in like four hours. But the best part is we didn't expect these. We've had some of these on order for so long. We've pretty much forgotten months, about them. Months, months. And um, like most of the other distributors, Pilot is struggling to receive product in. Um, I know in LA, like the ports mm -hmm. are backed up. And so they just showed up finally. They, they were unboxing this giant um, shipment and shipping everything out to retailers. And we did not have any idea this was showing up until it just yep. arrived, yep. which is Awesome. So no, no advance warning, but anyway, and we, and we do have more coming. Mm -hmm. If you are interested in an Amiki Emperor in Vermilion, my suggestion is to put a back and stock notification in. We do have more coming. Right. Um, so if that's something you're interested in, I don't have it here, obviously, because we, we sold the ones that we had, but uh, what a beautiful pen. Arushi Lacquer, Vermilion, it's, it's tough, to, tough to beat it's that such... big 50 nib. It's such a gorgeous yeah. color. And, and, and the nibs are not marked 50 anymore. So some, sometimes people who aren't, aren't aware of the older emperors that actually had the 50 marking on them, we call them a number 50 nib. They don't say it on there. So uh, we have had collectors who will buy both variants. But um, anyway, Emperor Vermilion. Don't do that. Yeah, yeah don't do that. <laughs> I, I'm not interested. I told you I'm not interested. I, I won't ever buy I got one. got it on here twice. If I get one for free, I'll take one. But No. Um, anyway. If you're interested in the Emperor Vermilion, uh, just shoot us an email, sign up for Back in Stock, and uh, we'll get you on the waiting list. So, awesome. Uh, next up to something we actually do have. Oh, I'm excited. Are you? This is, That's a good looking This pen. is pretty. I like These that. These are way too big for me, mm -hmm. which is, you know, so my birthday is coming up, it by is. the way. So I'll make sure not to get this pen for you. Yeah, but you're going to have to think about something. The Visconti Opera Master Savannah. Savannah. This is gorgeous. Limited edition. 888 pieces which is a very nice number. This is really pretty. Uh, in this, what is that kind of, what'd you call that, a honey? I'd call it. A honey and a brown kind of yep. white swirl. Yep, amber, honey, um, caramel. Mm. But uh, yeah, absolutely. They do such a good job with their colors. It's got depth, um, just, just really interesting. The insert in the clip is beautiful. This light yes. yellow lacquer that's in there it really stands out they're doing a much nicer job of the clips these days than you know five ten years ago uh there was some drama about the clips uh, but they're doing a different method now and this yellow is just gorgeous um, yeah, really a nice accent hook safe lock um, power filler uh, of course my pen compatible but uh limited edition and there are 888 of these pieces this one happens to be number 39. talk about the nibs real quick uh these are in-house 18 karat gold uh rhodium plated they've got that beautiful old old design on there flourish design so this uh, is the um 
The newest mm. color in the Pelican Edelstein inks, this is the Golden Barrel. And um, ink of the year. Ink of the year. And the interesting thing is that Pelican, this is their first shimmer. Mm -hmm. And it's both gold and silver. It's gorgeous. And I'm not a big shimmer girl. Um, that's really. I may, I may have to put this in something. It, it's really luscious. It's. I, I use that when you shake it wow. up. It just really looks. Look at you. It's. It's you, just crazy. Yeah. Uh, and they put a gold cap on it, which is a little different this year. Yes. Uh, which is, I think, a really nice touch. Um, but just look how that's just swirls. really, really pretty. I would get one of these just so I could. You I could. could I could just and... shake it up once in a while, and then just watch it swirl around. I mean, that's just. Shouldn't you be working? Well, you know, have it on, it's be like a stress reliever thing, and you just watch it <laughs> do its thing. Uh, it's just mesmerizing. Really, really pretty, pretty color. Right now, we are having a promotion while supplies last. If you buy one of the Lamy Safaris in the Aquamarine, the Violet, or the Mango, you get this Adorbs little bottle. Adorbs. Uh, Adorbs, yeah. Adorbs, Adorbs okay. little bottle <laughs> of 30 mil uh, blue ink. So it's the same style as the regular size. There is um, no blotter paper. But it has that little but base. But it has the little base. Um, so like 30 couple. mil. Don't you already have like a couple? I don't have, I don't, actually I don't, I have one Lamy All-Star. Okay. It's the, the blue tester. This, this vial is nice. I, they match the, the clip, match the, the trim. Right. Or the, the color. Um, and I like, I like, the vial is nice. I like that it's slightly textured. It's not yeah. shiny like the shiny red or the shiny black. Yeah. Um, so anyway, right now, if you buy one of the mango, violet, or aquamarine, you do get a free, uh, you don't have to add anything to the we'll cart. We'll just toss while it in there for last. you while yep. supplies last. A free bottle of the Lamy Blue. That's your only color option. Yep. So there's and, these, uh, and these are not going to be around forever. Uh, these will probably be discontinued at year's end. So. Cool. Uh, if you're interested, uh, we've got them in uh, pretty much any nib size, extra fine, fine, medium, broad, or left hand. The Lamy 2000 Limited Edition Brown. Uh, uh, there are 3,300 pieces worldwide, uh, 60 in the United States. Wait, six zero. Six zero, yes. 60. Um, okay. We are officially sold out. Sold out. We will not. We will not be getting any more. We actually got one one more allocated to us yeah. uh, last week, uh, but uh, that has since sold. So if you are looking for the Lamy 2000, uh, we are out. Uh, they have not arrived yet. Uh, they should be coming soon, soon. Uh, but uh, we, we are all out. We cannot get any more. But while we're talking about anniversary pens. Okay. Oh God. Sailor 110th anniversary, the Kiragane the black, and the Shiragani, the sterling silver. And this is one you want. Uh, this is one I want. Uh, these are coming soon. Now they were supposed to be shipped from Japan, uh, I believe last week. So they are on the way to the United States. Okay. Um, we have a... So they're gonna arrive in time for my birthday. You're gonna get a present for my birthday. Well, shouldn't I? <laughs> No. Shouldn't I? No. Um, so th these are coming. <laughs> okay. Uh, if you missed out on the Lamy, if you're interested in the Sailor, I realize those two groups may not be uh, combined, uh, do sign up. Uh, we right now have uh, quite a few back in stocks for them, uh, but as history dictates, usually half of those people that sign up don't actually buy. So right. um, we, we're getting a, a decent allocation, um, but they, I think they will go fast. It's really such a unique, They're really, really a unique pen. Shockingly, so far from what Sailor normally does, and and I got to tell you, all you other companies, this is what you need to do when you're having an anniversary. Make it different. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm impressed with the Lamy 2000 this year in the brown. Um, you know, a couple years ago. Um, I just didn't think that the, uh, was it the... The Bauhaus? No, the, that was the blue. The Black that was Amber? Different. The Black mm. Amber, yeah. really a lot of people I think were disappointed because it looked like the stainless with kind of a wash yeah. over yeah. it. Yeah. Um, but it was exactly the same pen. Yeah. This is so different from yeah, this is... what Sailor normally does that it truly is worthy of, yeah. of an 
anniversary special It doesn't look like any edition. other pen. They've never made a pen like this ever. Yeah. Uh, and who knows, they may never make this particular style again. And that's, that is what I like about it. Yep. Um, uh, Just so, so different. And, and that's a big step, especially for a Japanese com yeah. company yeah. to just go so far outside their comfort zone. It's really impressive. Well, and, and, and I like to, I like to be able to talk about, you know, Sailor comes up with a lot of additions, but you know, it's, it, it gets a little difficult to try to convince people that, okay, well, it's another, y yes, it's a 1911 large, just like the other one right. you have it's just a different color just a different color program so this is this is i really think this is uh going to be pretty fantastic yes um i do believe we actually have the, the sterling silver with the broad uh, all the pieces we have are allocated okay. uh, on the sterling come in uh correct me if i'm wrong fine medium fine broad there's a quiz uh, fine medium fine medium and broad uh four nibs only uh special nib two-tone nib it's 21 carat um it is a full size. It is not a king of pen sized pen. It is not a king of pen sized nib. Okay. So make that very important. Just because it's an anniversary does not mean it's a king of pen. Right. Um, it's a full size nib. Uh, it, it sports the new Sailor logo that they've been, that they just have uh, been uh, putting out in the last year. Uh, on the top, it's got the integrated roll stop. Really fantastic pen. Great. Um, they are coming soon. Uh, the Sailor Sunset Over the Ocean. Pro gear, you got you got big and small. Um, this comes in a pro gear size only, so pro gear slim. Pro gear style. Yes, yes. Pro gear slim, a full size pro gear, and the king of pen. Uh, now you just said sailor. You know, it's hard to convince people that it's you know yet another of the same design. They have been doing some in here. You can have that one. Oh, they they have been doing some interesting things that I really do find impressive. Um, colored ends, which is normally it's something kind of a sailor trademark at this point. At this point, but yeah. it was often in the Japanese-only pens. Mm -hmm. All the little runs of twenty and fifty for little shops in Japan, and so now the U.S. is getting some interesting things like this. The two mm -hmm. hot habanero had the little, um, little chili pepper, chili pepper and, and so it's nice to see that um, the U.S. is getting some, not better, but, but more fun yeah. details. Now this is, uh, this is interesting. Uh, this pen is growing on me, the color scheme, you know, red oh, and blue. Uh, the red and blue is sometimes is, is, is difficult to put together. Uh, but the blue barrel has has little, very small uh, silver particles. Oh, it's sparkly. Yes. <laughs> and, and those particles do extend, and this is what I like about this pen, they do extend to the transparent ends. So if you look, Ooh. you can see the little sparkly pieces. And the section, On the too. end, yeah, of course, on the section, right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So it's, it's very subtle, it's not very loud. Uh, if that regard, it's it's not glittery. Yeah, but yeah, it does have sparkle. That is pretty cool. Um, I love a good sparkle. All, all rhodium trim. They come in uh, all seven nib sizes: in the slim and the full size, extra fine, fine, medium fine, medium broad, zoom and music, and king of pen come in medium and broad. Yep. Um, so nicely, nicely done. Yeah. So yes, it is another style, another um, pro gear model but um definitely some different accents this I, time I, I around like and it, i like it i like that it's a little it's a little darker yes. but then it has just a little small pop of color yep. you know it's not too and sparkle who doesn't like sparkle it's just it's a very very subdued sparkle yes um, but anyway sailor sunset over the ocean uh that is now in stock um so the two newest colors in the sailor uh 50 states series we have idaho and washington Idaho is a um, kind of a potato brown. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it is kind of a potato brown. Uh, and Washington is a really pretty green. Uh, so I'm impressed with how quickly they keep churning out new colors. Yep. Every couple months. Yep. And, and that's the plan too. They're yes. planning on, on bringing out uh, a couple every every few months so uh until we get all 50 so uh i want to see washington i want to see wisconsin i want to see wisconsin so this is, we're talking to you <laughs> i told you we want a good color don come wisconsin. on help us out what a nice nice green 
for the Green Bay Packers. As long as you can't say that it's because of that. For the, you know, for the sports team. Well, they did it for New York, you know. Well, that's true. Blue for, you know. Right. So, anyway. Uh, not, two new, not yellow for cheddar cheese. Two, <laughs> two new Sailor 50 States, Inc. Uh, Idaho and Washington are in uh, right now. So Nothing anybody asks for our opinion. But Nobody asks for our opinion ever. All right. Um, More ink. So, all right. Can, can you name all these off? Maybe. So this is this is new uh, new from Monteverdi. They have the jungle, the jungle ink series colors. All right, so turtle is a you know I was afraid when I saw the bottle that it was going to be too light, but it's actually a really pretty turquoise. So I turtle, have turquoise. turtle and zebra. Okay, and zebra's what white and black. <sighs> I don't know. I, I have everything right here. Oh look, it's on the side. It's on the I side. I can cheat. You can cheat. Is the color on the side? <laughs> no. No. Um, zebra is blue black. Yes. I'll, I'll have zebra, you that one. turtle, lion, crocodile. I don't know. Hippo. Uh, <laughs> hippo. Okay, so why don't we just go down the list? So two uh, two can is black. Yes. Uh, Which really kind of bothers me. <laughs> Shouldn't it be like bright? So anyway. Uh, it's, Elephant is violet. They didn't ask me either. I've, I've never seen a violet elephant, but I'm, I'm looking forward to my, <laughs> my time on the National Geographic Channel. Um, <laughs> giraffe is d a dusty red. Uh, zebra blue black. Chameleon is purple. Okay. Uh, hippo is blue. Okay. Crocodile, Crocodile is green. Okay, yep. I get that one. Turtle is turquoise. Yes. Uh, lion is yellow. Okay. And gorilla is burgundy. So I, mean, I could maybe see a couple of those. Okay. I, I, interesting. They have fun little, uh, they have fun little Adorable characters on boxes. them. They're fun little. You yeah. know, they Monteverdi does a great job with the packaging. Yep. Yeah. And these are uh, these are Your the standard, standard little twenty mil, uh, thirty mil bottles. Thirty mil yeah. bottles. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, cute, cute which I think is a really good size. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's it, it, it's not it's not too big. It, it makes the cost of the bottle small. It's a low investment. If you decide you don't want to sample, oh, I'll try it anyway. It's got a cute box, you know, and it doesn't work out for you. You're not into it for very long and, you know, um, it's small. Next up. Okay, Diplomat. Uh, Diplomat. So this is this is a little unusual, a little bit different. I'll give you that one. That one looks kind of cool, okay. actually. Uh, so Diplomat has a bunch of new colors. Uh, inks. 15, 12 or These 15. These are 30, 30 mil bottles. Mm -hmm. um, like, made in Germany. Like 12 or 15 colors. Oh, I know. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Carry the one. 16, <laughs> if my math is right. Um, so these come in uh, caramel, burgundy, orange, moss green, deep blue. You've got Caribbean, which looks I nice. Do. Uh, pine tree looks nice. Lilac, deep green, orchid, purple, red, royal blue, black, and sepia black. I think I got them all. Okay. There's also, yeah, burgundy and caramel are the yeah. two new ones. But uh, your standard, it, it, it looks like the old the uh, 4001, yep. small 4001 bottles. Um, and interestingly enough, it's made um, by a company called Octopus Fluids. I know, I like that. Uh, which is kind of cute uh, in Germany, and they make a lot of inks. So um, new Diplomat inks, uh, some of those look very promising. Um, yes. Nice smaller bottle, again, you don't have to worry about... Uh, if, you're, but, if you're a little phobic about commitment when it comes to ink, um, I'm in agreement, and uh, I think that a smaller bottle is a, a good idea. So, a uh, bunch of new ink this week. Yes. Um, we have two big announcements. Two big announcements. Two big announcements. Crap, I only uh, know what one of them is. Well, next week, <laughs> we're back after several weeks off, and then next week we are going to um, take a, a break from podcasting because we are going on vacation. Oh. It's, it hasn't been canceled yet, so no. <laughs> <laughs> which is which this, is kind of how we how we roll sometimes. This is this is full accountability here. Um, Brian and I have never actually taken a real vacation. We've called things vacations. We've gone to Chicago, and you know we've gone to the Art Institute, but we've also worked most of the time. And even when we took a break and we went to Door County a yeah, couple years we, ago, we, we, worked, we worked. We said, okay, we're going to stop working at noon. Which and, meant we got up at 7.30 and worked from 8 until noon. And after that, until the uh, owner of the B&B &B we were staying at said, okay, you said noon, it's like 1.30, you need to leave now. He literally kicked out. us out every yeah. day. Yeah. So. <laughs> I 
miss them. We should go see them. Um, so we are going on vacation. We are going to New Orleans. We will be gone from Saturday the 10th until Friday the 16th. Um, so if any of you out there, we, we have a pretty big list of things we want to do. Mm -hmm. Most of your standard tourist things. Um, we have a list of places we want to go to eat. Um, but if you are in New Orleans or have been in New Orleans, Brian is a huge Eggs Benedict fan. Oh, yeah. So for breakfast, every day we, we are going to try a different place that has supposedly really good Eggs Benedict every morning. Um, but leave a comment and make recommendations. You know, we're going to hit up the Garden District. We're going to hit up the French Market. We're going to hit up the Flea Market. We're going to hit up all your... Um, standard shopping and your Brian's looking for a hat. I'm gonna buy a hat. Yep. But uh, I'm looking, I, I, I'd like to know where are the, the real small, I mean, it's easy to Google. You can, you know, Google where to get food or whatever. But, you know, sometimes there's always the little hidden shops. Yeah. And, you know, the antique stores and the little places. Now, don't give me your favorite pen picking place if you don't want me to go there and buy all the pens, but. Uh. <laughs> I don't want you to go there and buy all the pens. I know. Um, um, but if you are really familiar with the area or you live there, definitely, um, if there's anything you think we can't miss, definitely leave a, leave a, a note for us. I have a feeling it's going to be a very busy week that we're there, so. Yes. But looking forward to it. We will limit our, our work time to, I'm going to say an hour a An day. hour in the morning, yep. But, um, so anyway, that's, uh, that's going on next week. So we will have no podcast. We're going to draw this out for a long time before we hit <laughs> podcast number 400, yeah. um, which is the next one. But uh, so anyway, what's the second announcement? Second announcement is that our Chicago store Ooh, that's a big announcement. will reopen. Yes. We need to have like a big, sorry, interrupted. In October. Excited. Um, we've signed the lease for our apartment. Uh, and uh, I will be going back down to reopen the store. Uh, and so that'll be mid-September. And then we will open, uh, we are not gonna open, this is shocking for us, we are not gonna open the store and move into the apartment in the same two days. We've just decided that's just too much. That's how we used to roll. <laughs> it's just so it's, too much. It's, uh, it is happening right around the Chicago Pen Show. Uh, our plan is to, uh, plan is to be open uh, that at least that Monday after the Chicago oh, yeah. Pen Show because we are tentatively having a, a, a oh, cool we are having an event we're having an event at the store yes um, so uh, no date set in stone yet uh, we may have a soft open if we get things ready at end of September yes. but uh, definitely uh, definitely October um, a long time in the making um, the hotel just reopened um, it is not even at half capacity. They, they haven't even opened half the rooms. Uh, I actually went down you were there um, yesterday. on Monday yep. and um, not that many people there. The loop was pretty empty. Um, the hotel was pretty empty. Uh, very few other stores are open at the moment. And I think everybody's doing what we're doing and just waiting a little kind bit. Kind of waiting a little bit. Yep. It'll be a, a slow rollout for the loop, mm -hmm. I suspect. Um, but uh, but we will be reopening and um, it's gonna late, be exciting. late September, early October. It's going to be exciting. We get back in and I'll get back in, and you're going to go to uh, your favorite restaurant here and eat there every day. I guess. Yes, yes. Well, I have gift certificates. You so can I cook, can. you know. I, well, I know I can, <laughs> can want to. So anyway, uh, it's Chicago. That's exciting. Uh, stay tuned for more uh, updates on that. You're looking um, forward to me being gone? I am not looking forward to you being gone, but I am looking forward to the store being open. Yes. Um, and uh, inventory will be will be kind of a slow roll there, I suspect. We, we've, we've been kind of pre-buying for a while. We've been planning this for yep. a, a few months now. A couple now. months. Um, but uh, you know, it'll be, just be patient with us and uh, you know, we'll, we'll have everything we need to have there in, uh, yep. in short order. Definitely by Christmas, I would suspect. Oh. Long before, Long before that. that. Okay. It'll be good. Thanks for joining us. Tune in next time for more talk about <laughs> pens, ink, and paper. Uh, make sure to follow the blog for news, ink reviews, and all sorts of other stuff. I'm done. She's done. <laughs> Check us out on social media as Anderson Pens. Um, Don't forget, we do have a store in Chicago, and we will be reopening in October. Ground floor of the Palmer House Hilton, uh, and we will be open seven days a week. Uh, 
easy for you to say. <laughs> <laughs> um, you can you can check out Chicago's website, chicago.andersonpens.com. Uh, like this video and subscribe to the channel, and we will see you next time. Bye.